Several years ago, just after everyone died, I created an entire working model of the Prisoner TV show in Second Life. I did so because I was aware that Patrick McGoon did not have long for this world and that a not-so-bright spark in America had decided to remake slash update The Prisoner. The Prisoner had been a favourite of my father's and I had stayed in Port Marion years before. As I was building it for the first time, I was not very good at building until the third rebuild, I became aware of this one avatar who kept visiting the theatre. I wondered if it was Patrick McGoon himself and dismissed it as fantasy. A group of Americans had, in the meantime, just happened to have the same idea at the same time and built a much nicer but poorly scaled model of Port Marion where the prisoner was filmed. They were far more experienced at building. They had to miss out a lot because of the scaling. Their buildings were enormous. Over a year later, and I had affiliated with the smaller Rebel fan group, whilst the Americans had affiliated with Six of One, the main fan group for the original show, who are deeply unpopular with Prisoner fans due to rumours of spying and more general bitching. As I was just interested in improving my model, rebuilding it several times and developing an international community, I carried on regardless, ending up with a complete replica of the fantasy village in the TV show, whilst they, scuppered by their giant scale and overuse of resources, were left with a nice-looking island with not much content. In the meantime, Patrick had died. I really should have ended the very expensive project there, but I kept going. To my surprise, it was I, and not the American building team, who received a letter from the McGoon family after he died, thanking me for my efforts via the main fan group Six of One. His wife had thoughtfully written to say he had indeed visited my sim with his grandchildren and very much enjoyed it. This, especially given my inexpert building to begin with, inspired another few months of perfecting an entire working model of the imaginary set, including a rover which chased the visitors. This is gracious behaviour. They didn't need to do it. They need never have mentioned it. They didn't know who I was or whether I was capable of doing the thing properly. Even grieving as they were, they remembered to thank me. As creative exercises, which often cost a lot and pay nothing go, I would count this as a win. I was happy to have done it, especially given that the smartass that ruined the remake chose to do it just as Patrick was dying. (laughs) Compared this with someone who cannot manage to (laughs) was a... a, (laughs) Comparing this with someone who cannot manage to answer a question about his own charity, talk to an author about a more serious book on the grounds of her gender, accept a gift of a major artwork, minor major artwork, or acknowledge a person who has written two books and created three artwork collections associated with him, and you can see why I have finally decided that the sow's ear plans to stay that way. I had the the idea that Wolf wanted to achieve something of note, and now I have the idea that he revels in the amount to be gained by not bothering. What a nag I am. It is very sad for him. It's ironic when I'm told by his former fans that I sound much older than him that he is the one that is so jaded and bound up with the immediate that the romantic long term is beyond his scope. It is amusing that he would presume to put out a title called Amazing Grace when the concept is not something that he is familiar with at all. I do still think that, sorry. Uh, How unfortunate that the very quality required to achieve stardom is the one least understood. Again, I am left feeling sorry for him. I suffer from much the same weakness in terms of lack of tolerance and a bit of arrogance for the looks of things. But I do not suffer from the same curse of self-regard. Oh, dear. I have recreated the channel on YouTube. Uh, I will be unable to promote the best ever books on it, but there will be a bunch of sad, geeky audiobooks on there, which I am working on at the moment.